Today, we're meeting two of our biggest... Oh, we already did that joke. We did. Fans! Bob! Intro! Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Tearspec TV video and also a brand new episode of Project Bob in all of his rusty and spiky and muddy glory he has finally returned for another episode because well you guys asked for it um, and today as we've already uh, made quite obvious he's getting some electric fans just like we did on Nissus V8. Indeed we are getting two electric fans I believe they are 12 inch we got two of them because the VH got pretty big radiator compared to the Creeper. And the old fan looked like it came off a U-boat. Yeah. Well, oh. yeah. It looks like it came off the Titanic or something. This is, uh, this is an actual World War II uh, yeah, relic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> came off a Spitfire. Uh, so we are going in with these two beautiful ones. I've got these from uh, from eBay called uh, Fall Down Bits, a seller. So, uh, they seem to work. Pretty nice, pretty sturdy, uh, heavy as well, no funny sounds or anything. So, but the kit does kind of miss a bit of a manual here. Yeah, this is a manual and the three drawings, and I like the men don't use instructions. Yeah, right, I forgot that. <laughs> uh, so, we got a load of wires to stick in somewhere and hopefully get it to work. So, at some point, uh, we also need to get these mounted. Uh, onto the radiator itself, we got some plastic bits and bobs. We need to figure out how to do it. Uh, so it's going to be some trial and error here today, <laughs> as always. You know, because it's not like every other video is uh, trial and error. We know exactly what we're doing. We <laughs> always know what we're doing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's try it out. See if we can get it to work. Hopefully, it's a good plan. So I uh, I got some stuff done to it yesterday alone, uh, which resulted in me spending three hours over here and forgot to pick up food for the rest of the family. So yeah, uh, but what I got done was I installed the thermostat, which is just a little thing here, as you see, which got a probe, which you put into this hose here, which is uh, where the cold water gets into the engine, I believe. Uh, where you just insert this little hose, a little clamp thing, so you make sure you don't cut that uh, wire over. Uh, then I got the relay mounted on here, got a nice ground for it. So what we just need now is get a plus wire from somewhere. We don't know where any of these wires come from, but we'll just put two wires together, see if they spark, and then we know we've got 12 volt through them. And we'll get that onto the relay, from the relay onto the thermostat. And after that, we'll be mounting the fans onto the radiator itself uh, and test it out and see if they actually turn on when the engine is uh, hot enough. The kit we're using is cheaper than what we installed on Nissa's car, but works in the same way and should be good enough to suit Bob. He yeah, actually marked all of these, it's pretty cool. Oil temperature, don't need that. Heater, matrix, small warp, don't need that. Oh. This is not how you test normal wires. You normally get a nice little thing that tells you if you get any output from it, but this is this is Bob, so this is how we do it. Oh. Feel that in my finger. So we've got something there. So I'll turn it off. Got anything now? Oh, I found it. That was far too easy. Yeah. I'm a bit worried now. So now I just need to get a wire router from that little more bob, and then on through there and out onto the relay. So let's get some wires and some cords and stuff. So now we got earth wire, we got ignition wire. Then we'll just need a always 12 volt feed and a connection from that one onto that one. Which we're going to be making now out of this applied wire that came with the kit. I think this wire is long enough. Yeah. Sure. 
down up there. Directly. I want to look a bit neat, so. Well, it is Bob. It is Bob, but even Bob needs to look a bit handsome. <laughs> Time to another. fuse box as you can see there's missing one fuse here if we can get our own wire fused into that one that would be pretty neat and then on to the last thing on that one then we've got a 12 volt continuously feed and then that one should turn on with the ignition feed and the signal wire we just put in hmm. I hope nothing is certain We are popping into town very quickly to get some fuse holders for Bob so we can finish up this wiring. Nissa has decided to take us on a slightly more adventurous route back to the workshop. Now that we have a fuse holder, we wired it into the system and finished up the wiring. So, flat one, that one, blue one, yabbity yabbity yabbity, is that one. I then wired up a small switch, so we had a manual override for the fans, if needs be. All that was left to do was to mount the fans using a series of tabs and zip ties that came with them. That. I think they're meant to go from that side and in, but that would just be quite hard to get in. Just sit where we want them to. Just push them through the radiator.
I did after you last time saw Bob was uh, I got the wires all nicely snapped up here and I got the wires done and the radiators installed with these uh, small clip things that comes with it. You pretty much just get along. It looks like a zip tie sort of, you just push it through the radiator, it doesn't damage the radiator, it just goes in between uh, all the layers and then you just poke them through here and you got like a locking nut on the other side to poke onto it. Uh, and then they, they don't go anywhere, pretty fast and seated here, so got that done. Uh, so what we just did now, because we took Bob out uh, on the outside so we don't die in there when we start him up, because we've got this little uh, temperature control thing up here, thermostat. Uh, we, I put the probe in here, it sets the probe in there now, don't get it all the way back down there, but inside this hose. Uh, and what you then do is start him up and get him into working temperature, which is Actually, we don't know what we're working temperatures because this uh, thermostat doesn't work. But we just took him a couple of rounds, uh, time around the yard, and uh, then we just twist this little thing here until the radiator starts or the, the fan starts. And then we know, and the thermostat knows when the temperature in here gets to a certain degree, or the water gets hot enough, the fans will automatically turn on. So that's pretty much what that thing is. But what I also did, which is not including, uh, included in the kit, is I did an override button, which is in here. So right now when the ignition comes on, because we just turn around, the fans will turn on. Well, I made a little switch up here, which is an override button. So when you flick that switch, the fans will turn on no matter what, what temperature is at. Uh, so if we're going through a mud hole and we know then it's going to be hot and the fans haven't turned on yet, we can pre-turn on the fans to cool the water inside the radiator before it gets into the engine. Uh, and also just if the thermostat fails, we can always hit that switch and we'll keep on going. Uh, that's pretty much the install of... Uh, and the fans on Bob now. He's all done and ready for the winter. Oh, easy. So there we have it, guys. Another episode of Project Bob done. Hopefully, you're uh, all glad that he is back. And there, of course, will be many more episodes to come. I don't know what is next. It's probably, probably the exhaust. Yeah, I think, I think exhaust will be the next one because it's it's not really attached to anything at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll sort that out and a million other things that Project Bob uh, needs. But actually. Um, the good thing is that up front in the engine bay everything seems to be going to plan um, So stay tuned and uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed and check out all the, the things in the description down below Like our shop where you can find Tierspec TV clothing as beautifully mod modeled here and uh, Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff if you want to check that out So thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video